There is currently happening a Republican resurgence in the state of Texas. According to early voting, according to registration trends, something is happening in Texas underneath the mainstream media's noses, our noses, everybody's noses. There is something shifting in the state of Texas past couple of years. People kept saying, oh, Texas is going to trend Democrat. It's going to become the safe Democrat state. Look at this graph. We'll take a look at it. This is the state of Texas. Modeled party. This is inferred voters. T just look at this. 2016. Democrats were 56% of the early voting. Republicans were 37%. Now, Republicans are 49 0.7%. Democrats are down to 42%. This is massive. People need to realize Republicans are supposed to be getting crushed in early voting across the board. All right? And this is massive. Republicans should be losing by a mile in early voting. But they're not. The state of Texas proves everything that I've been saying for a long time. Texas is borderline safe. I'm telling everybody this for a fact. It will go to Trump by at least six to eight points. At least. Alright? He may win it by 10, 11 points. We gotta just take a look at it. Because something is happening in Texas that nobody understands what's actually happening. Alright? So let's start the first thing. Alright? What happened in 2016? Where did Trump do okay for Republican and where did he do disastrous in? He did not do good in Tarrant County. This is the bellwether of the state of Texas. Basically, if a Republican loses this county by around a point or two, they're going to lose the state. This is the bellwether of old bellwethers in Texas. All right? Trump got 52% of the vote in Tarrant. He got 52.5% of the vote in Texas. Clinton got 43.5% in Tarrant. Got 43.5% in Tarrant County in the presidency. Alright? You get the point. Listen, Tarrant County is huge for the Republicans. Alright? And let's take a look at the election in 2018. Sure, Beto O'Rourke won it by 0.7%, but it was a blue wave year. Alright? He won it by not enough. I estimate a Democrat would have to win Tarrant County by around a percentage point for the Republicans to lose the state of Texas. All right? He won it by only 0.7. If he won it by 1%, that would indicate more of these suburbs, like Denton and Collin, and more, more particularly the Houston suburbs, would be more Democrat. But he only won by 0.7%. Not enough. Not enough. To carry the state of Texas. This is massive. You gotta take a look at this. And speaking of Tarrant. The bellwether. Whoever wins Tarrant basically wins the state of Texas. Let's go check Tarrant County. Alright. This is shocking me. Alright. When I saw this. The number in Tarrant. I knew for fact Trump's gonna win the state by at least 10 points. Look what's happening. Alright. Look at it. This is a disaster. For the Democratic Party. They're getting their asses handed to them. By the Republicans. In the bellwether. Six and a half percent. They're getting crushed in Tarrant. And remember. Sixty percent of Democrats. According to a Gallup poll. Said they were going to vote early. And they're going to vote by mail. Republicans was only around 28 percent. We are seeing. A resurgence in Texas. For the Republican Party. And this is a big thing people need to realize. Trump has a lot of improvement to happen in the state of Texas. He's going to do a lot better with the establishment Republicans. He's going to do a lot better with Hispanics. He's going to do a lot better with everything in Texas. This is why I'm saying Trump could win the state of Texas by 10, 11, even 12 points. And it will not shock me. The data points to it. All right? And remember... Republicans are supposed to be voting heavily in person on election day. A Democrat's supposed to be voting heavily in person, uh, early I should say, 
But they're not. This is why I'm saying for a fact. The state of Texas will go to Donald Trump by a wide enough margin. And remember, again, you got to take a look at it. Let's check the exit polls, all right? Let's just scroll down for a little bit, all right? Let's just go find it, all right? Let's go check race, all right? Look at this. Trump got 34% of the Latino vote in the state of Texas and 69% of the white vote. Trump is about to do the same with the white vote. Don't give me this nonsense he isn't. He may do a point worse. Maybe. Right? But he's going to make massive improvements with blacks, Latinos, Asians. Right? Trump may crack 30% with Asians in Texas. He may crack 40% with Latinos in Texas. He may crack 15% with blacks in Texas. That's going to offset everything. This is massive. And nobody's talking about it because it's destroying their narrative. Blumpf is done. All right? And when you scroll down a little bit, this is the group that if Trump loses the election, it's because of this. Non-whites with no degree. All right? Trump lost this group big time in 2016. But now, there's indicators showing in Texas, he may crack 30, maybe even 35% with non-whites, no degree. These are the working class minorities that I've been saying for a month now that Trump will make such an improvement with that I'm saying that states like New Mexico, Nevada, Colorado to an extent are going to be a lot closer than people expect. And again, right? Trump may do a little bit worse with white college graduates. Maybe. But he's earned the respect of the establishment Republicans, right? And when you scroll down, right? Look up party, right? Trump only got 88% of self-identified Republicans. He's easily going to get 92, 93% of Texas, of Republicans. All right? And you look at these numbers. Trump is mathematically going to win Texas by 10 points when you do look at all this data. All right? And people keep saying, oh, what about 2018? That showed that um, Cruz is killing the Republicans of Texas. Check the exit polls. All right, let's just go check the exit poll for just a quick second. Look at race, right? Cruz did not hit the numbers with whites that Trump did. did work. He did it a little bit better than with Latinos, right? But you go on, right? Just keep scrolling. Party ID. This is why Texas was even remotely close in 2018. The independents nationally swung so heavily for the Democrats, it was a 15-point swing nationally. Look at this. Cruz got only 47% independence in 2018. 2016, Trump got 52%. Think about that. And again, Trump is going to prove big time. 7% of independence went with Johnson. And when you look at the data, most of the Johnson voters are going to go to Trump. They're not going to vote for Biden. They have a higher favorability. Of Trump to Biden. You could go look up the graph. I don't have with me. But you get the point. The data is showing that Trump is going to make Texas borderline safe. At worst, he's going to lose a state by six. Right? Yeah, I see maybe. Again, he may do a little bit worse with whites. But it's going to be canceled out by the minorities. Right? Non-whites, no degrees. This is the group Trump needs to improve in. That's all he needs. He just needs to improve by three, four points. To offset pretty much all of this. Because Trump is going to do better with the establishment Republicans. No matter what you hear. He's earned the respect of them. That's why you're seeing the Waukesha numbers. Like the Wow counties in Wisconsin. So favorable to Trump and Republicans. I'm telling you guys this for a fact. Trump is going to improve in Texas. And nobody saw it coming. These numbers are pointing to it. Alright. And again. You just go on and on. You can take a look at all of this. Let's look at race for a second. See this? African Americans down 7 percentage points. Caucasian up 5%. Hispanics up by 3%. These are the two groups Trump needs. Right? These are numbers of Trump getting absolutely doing a phenomenal job. And you go on and on. Alright? So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick segment. Kind of a different format, I guess. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next video. God bless you.